This is from the Biden administration itself, and they're predicting the population of asylum seekers and other migrants is going to surge from 6 million last year to 8 million this September. This is an increase of 167% compared to five years ago under, under Donald Trump. Uh, I mean, this is, uh, this is going to be the top election issue. There's so many other issues, but I think this is going to be the number one issue. And at the same time, you've got states like California adding to this problem. A new bill introduced in California will allow illegal immigrants to qualify as first home buyers able to access the state's zero down no payment home loan scheme where they can get a loan of up to 20% of the price of a house with that loan not accruing interest or require, requiring monthly payments. I don't know which insanity to start with first, Rita, but let's begin with the 8 million people. 8 million asylum uh, seekers inside the United States. Again, just in the last five years, this is not the total number, right? Um, that's 2.5% of the U.S. population, to put it in context, right? And and again, uh, what they're trying to do is make it, they have they, they have loosened what it takes to become an asylum seeker, right? This is what they've done to, yeah. to be a magnet for people to come to this country. And again, you have to, I think people in Australia don't really, even people in this country don't fully understand what happens when you cross the border and not when you get through and are not caught, when you are actually caught. They didn't give you a notice for when to come back, which could be up to 10 years from that day. Now, do they come back? Of course they're not going to come back. Why would they come back? And so, of course, yeah, they could be technically asylum seekers, but they're not going to be deported, not under this administration, for sure. And talking about the home loan they're giving, this is a home loan, to be clear, this is not a home loan given just to illegal immigrants. It's a home loan that is, that is essentially uh, free of interest um, to mm. anybody who can't afford a home, which, by the way, in and of itself just doesn't make any economic sense for a state like California, but let's leave that aside. But they're allowing illegals to be part of this scheme. It is unbelievable to me, even for a state like California. Yet you want to ask why they're coming across the country? It's not because, like they say, the Biden administration, because of climate change, right? They're doing it because, of course, wouldn't you, Rita, wouldn't you want to go to a place you can get a free home yeah. loan? Of course you would. That's what's bringing them here. That's why we have 8 million asylum seekers. It's incentives. You are, it, it's pull factors, not push factors. And we know they're economic migrants. Uh, they're not awful people. Some of them are awful people and criminals, but the overwhelming majority are not. But if you don't have control of your borders, if you don't have a genuine asylum seeker process, then you're lost and the US is lost in this area. Now let's hear from President Joe Biden. Here he is asked about his poor poll numbers and listen to how delusional this man is about what's happening. Mr. President, what's your message to Democrats who are concerned about your poll numbers? My poll numbers, the last five polls you guys don't report, I'm winning five, five in a row. You guys only look at the New York Times, they're a great paper. Army, I don't know what to say about that. Uh, we've uh, showed you plenty of polls on this program that are pretty clear about what's happening, what the trends are. Are uh, Biden's handlers lying to him? Yeah, he might be up 48-45 uh, with the Biden family. Maybe that's the poll they're referring to. But the New York <laughs> Times just came out with a poll. The New York Times, not exactly pro-Trump, right? Last time I checked, they were probably pretty much in the bag for Joe Biden. Uh, jo Trump is killing him in the polls in that particular one. And of course, you know, we've talked about this before, but I think it's worth talking about it again, in that the crosstab, right? It's not just the overall number, that is that is showing how how Trump is going to trounce Joe Biden. So right, if we, if the election was held today, um, but the crosstabs are horrendous. You're talking about he's going to win the Hispanics outright, 46-40. He is winning Hispanics. This is coming for a president who they love to say talked about how he said all the criminals are, the, are Mexicans and how he loves Mexicans. Their, their tostadas are so great. That guy, that guy is up 46-40. He is. Biden only has 66% of the black vote. That sounds like a lot. It's a majority, but that's down from 92%. You can't, that's the, his entire coalition, the coalition of the dispossessed, the coalition of victims, right? 
black people, Hispanics. He can't gain ground. He's losing ground, tons of ground in his core constituency. If the election, Rita, the election was held today, today, he would lose 293 to 245 to President Trump. That is no bueno for the president. That's astonishing. That's ast I can't believe the, the black vote has plummeted that much for Biden because it is normally such a solid voting block, 90%, 90% plus they can count on. And that's fracturing. Army Horowitz, thank you so much for your time.